Jacob from satire.net. I'm in. The, yeah, what's up, Jacob? Did you? Um, we're in pomegranate, and we're in the sauce aisle. And every man's dream in life is a good sauce aisle. And I gotta admit that this sauce aisle is pretty uh, uh, extensive. Listen to me, okay? You Look at this? this sauce. Jack Daniel's Old Number Seven. That's right. Okay. It's good stuff, man. You need anything? This is it. You know what this reminds me of, Jacob? This reminds me when I came over from Russia and I saw bread on the uh, on the shelves. I cried deeply. It was very emotional. And uh, now that I see, oh my God, Blaze! Wow, Bart Nur is making some good stuff. Blaze sounds hot. Right, a blaze your a blaze your teriyaki chicken with my sauce. Oh my God, Jacob, do you have any special sauce? <laughs> look at this sauce, man. That's pretty, dude. Look at the tomato sauce on it, yeah. man. It's pretty cool, man. I'm down. Yeah, down. Pomegranate's pretty so, cool. Show them the Dr. Browns. Oh, Dr. Must have Dr. Browns. I gotta say, Dr. Browns is very extensive. I'm doing an advertisement for your sh store, by the way. Oh, okay. You like to say something? No, it's okay. No, it's okay? Dude, you guys rock, man. Yeah. The sauce aisle's amazing. Thank you. Dude, you don't even know. This is like, and Dr. Browns is very hard to get in certain places, you know? There it is. But where is the celery soda? I don't know, man. Dr. Browns rocks. No celery soda. There's no celery soda, it's a problem, because celery soda is like the Jewish soda. I mean, it really I is. So. I know a lot of people I don't, don't like so. celery. No, if you're, any, if you're over much. 50 and you speak Yiddish and back to the show and you don't eat celery soda, that's like, uh, not liking matches herring, you know? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's look at this yeah. aisle. This is a spice aisle. You know, this is kind of boring, Jacob. Well, okay. I got to say. Let's go to the hummus. Okay. Oh. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is like the most yeah, sabra salads. I know. Brands, man. Same brand. Dude, Sabra's taken over, man. They're like art scroll. They have a monopoly on hummus. But don't worry, people. I'm sure they have Miki and uh, Tribe. How about Tribe? Tribe was in the Zohan. Did you notice that? Tribe was in the Zohan? Nope. They didn't use uh, hummus from Sa. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Sabra here. This is a different brand. Achla. Achla. Ah, oh, look at that drip. Look at that. I have a feeling it's the same company. It is. It's like Royal Wine Corp. They own all the hummus companies, and they just make them in the same vats, and they have different packaging. I know. Soon, all Chatsi Lim will be taken over by Sabra, and then they're on to Kugels. And that's it. Sabra's going to own all the Jewish wow. condiment, you know, audience. Right. That's, that's it. That's a little far-fetched, but okay. I'm telling you, man, it's all a conspiracy. Scary, scary. It's scary. all a conspiracy. Now, I'm, now it's getting embarrassing. It's getting embarrassing? Yep. The conspiracy I talk. You might be embarrassed, but... uh. Well, that salad's here, man. I'm down, man. This is down. I mean, you, you guys missed the produce section, but it was pretty darn good. I mean, personally, I'm a big fan of Trader Joe's, and this is not compared to Trader Joe's. I'm sorry to say that Trader Joe's kicks butt, man. It does. I mean, I'm all into the organic stuff. Not because it tastes better. No. It's not because that. Because for some reason, the people at organic companies think of better flavors of sauces. I don't know why. They think of better flavors. They, they have clever packaging with all the stories on the back. The only reason I drink Celestial Seasoning Tea over Wisotsky is because they have like, you ever notice on a package of Celestial Seasonings, there's like 10 stories. There's like the bear story and there's a little poem and there's a little saying by Jack Frost or something. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. You know, it's completely ridiculous, but it's good. Well, I do like the strawberry vanilla rose tea, man. That stuff is good, dude. And Celestial Seasonings teas have more diversity. Look at this. Wednesday night, all these people. That girl's kind of cute, actually. Hmm, which one am I talking about? I know, right? They're all going on YouTube, and they don't know it. No, they don't. The Jelly Isle. This is pretty chiller, man. I'm down. Oh, look at all the cheeses. Let's look at the cheese. It's good for cheese. Right, I'm not me, really into the cheese. Nah, come on. Nah, man. I, dude. This, this is the view Jacob the huh? Jew. Jacob the, the Jew. Dot blogspot.com. Dolce de leche. Dolce de leche. Dude, this guy's uh, one of our token white Sparty guys. <laughs> and as you can see, he's bald, but he's not fat yet. So it's perfect, man. He's making his wife happy because he didn't, you know, become one of those short <laughs> brown that, Sparty Hesh, guys. Hesh is throwing it down. Yeah, he's, he is, he is. All right, all right. I can take a beating. I wonder if anyone, like, knows anyone, like, around here. How are you guys liking the store? Amazing. Oh, that's it's good. It's fun, isn't it fun? It's loads of fun, dude. I'm having a ball, man. The sauces. You guys got to go to the sauce aisle. The sauce aisle is phenomenal. They have so many sauces to make your grilling experience so much more Shabbos stick. Grilling wasn't Shabbos stick, but now grilling is so Shabbos stick because Bart Nura got into the mix. The and made olive a sauce. oil on chicken cutlets that keeps them moist. 
I don't know, more of like a lemon on chicken cutlets kind of guy. Sweet and sour sauce, maybe? Oh, dude, there's black people. God, look. Oh my God. They're infiltrating the store. What are we going to do? That's right, man. A Jewish store with diversity, man. Don't have that every day, man. You can't go to Glotmart and find that. Nope. They're not going to give you that. Nope. Nope. You going to Glotmart with shorts and a t-shirt? Oh, the crane. What... What is life without crane? Can you tell me? You without crane, you cannot do crane ace. Yes. There would be no such thing as the crane question on shidduch advice, right? They, the shotgun would be like, so new, what kind of crane What kind of crane do you use? And they would say, oh, we don't use crane. What are we going to do without crane, right? But here, there we go. not go. only, wait, go. go away. Not only do we have the traditional sweet crane in this store, we have golds. They never sell golds in Hamish's yeah, stores. You ever notice that? They never sell golds in Hamish stores? You ever realize that? Don't get me out of here. Oh, they, she doesn't want to be a... They never sell golds. Golds is like the secular brand. But here, they celebrate diversity. It's like it's like affirmative action for Crane. Unbelievable, man. Golds. And golds white. Golds white is the horseradish, man. I mean, I don't like it much, but if you uh, you speak Yiddish, you hang out in back of shuls, and you go to kiddish clubs, golds white is where that and... Oh, come on, Betempte Pickles, man. Kai Classic, dude. Dude, come on, look at this pickle selection. Everything in one store, look at this aisle of stuff. Dude, how do you got it? Look at this. Can I just film your cart? These guys are hooking it up, man. It's like it's like Whole Foods meets Walmart, except the, except, except the prices aren't as good as Walmart's, but you're liking it, though. You're liking it. Last till Christmas. Till Christmas? Oh my god, dude. Where's the turkey, man? Where's the turkey? Where is the turkey? Oh, he's got a helmet on, dude. This guy's a cyclist. I'm liking it. I'm like, dude, I like this place. You know why I like this place so much? Because they're letting me film and they're not bothering me about it. Because they realize I'm going to get a few thousand hits on YouTube and then. That's it. Oh, they give something to hate. Let's go back to the horse rash out. Because I happen to be a big fan of Crane. Oh my god. Golds makes beat horseradish. They no. sold out to the frummies. To oh oh my god, we got a few minutes left, so we, glass, can, we can keep going. Glass, old school, glass. Who makes glass anymore? Dude, glass is better for the environment. It doesn't leach. The problem with plastic is, if you have your horseradish in a plastic bottle, the the like PCBs or something are gonna leach in your horseradish, and your crane is gonna get mercury in it, and it's gonna be it's gonna be defunct to the status of tuna fish and mercury laden farm raised salmon, oh, all right, all right, and then we're all gonna have to start eating wild okay. gefilte fish. Where the heck are we gonna catch wild gefilte fishes from? Huh? Wild gefilte Where do you get wild Do they have gefilte fish hatcheries? Excuse me, gefilte fish is they not don't. a fish. It's is not a it? fish. It's carp or some crap. Gefilte fish, fish is completely a fish. It's a fish, right? We didn't say gefilte. Let's ask these guys. All right. Is gefilte fish a fish? Wow. What do you guys have to say about gefilte fish? fish? Right? Oh, come on. Uh, they're so camera shy in this place. Brooklyn Knights are like, they don't like being on camera. Bad for it's bad for Shaduchim. It's true. Thank God I'm married already. Otherwise, and I'm me trying too. to get married, but it's not working so well uh, for obvious reasons. I don't shave. I'm wearing a kippah suruga. I think it's a problem in Brooklyn. That's it. My Shaduch yeah, resume. Muncie, though, but you're a month. My Shaduch resume is being downgraded on LinkedIn. That's what's happening. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna go.